An emotional vigil in Oakland tonight as friends, colleagues, and community leaders gathered to remember Alameda County Supervisor Wilma Chan one day after her death. When that angel was on earth, she allowed little girls and little boys who didn't look like the people in power to feel like they had the ability to get that power. A remembrance honoring Wilma Chan was held tonight outside the Alameda County Administrative Building. Good evening, everyone. I'm Julie Hayner. And I'm Mike Meebach in tonight for Frank Somerville. Wilma Chan was hit and killed by a driver just yesterday while she was walking her dog right near her home in Alameda. KTV's Jenna Katsuyama joins us live tonight from Oakland with tonight's vigil. Jenna. Mike and Julie, it was a very emotional vigil, spontaneous, but people came together and talked a little bit about how Wilma Chan spent her life trying to make things better here in Oakland and in Alameda County for those who were unseen, unheard, and without power. At dusk, bouquets of flowers and white candles brought some light to hearts that were hurting. My heart is heavy. It's extremely heavy. We're going to miss Supervisor Chan, we're going to miss her. Hugs couldn't take away the grief, but help start the healing. Nearly 100 co-workers and friends of Supervisor Wilma Chan came to the vigil outside the Alameda County building. She's come here every day uh, for years, for decades, and she has made Alameda County such a better place to live. The Alameda County Board of Supervisors and community members tried to sum up Wilma Chan and what they loved most about her a quiet warrior for education and health care for the underserved. She was a hu humble person. She walked on this earth in a humble way. She was the most humble politician I've ever worked with in my 30 years. She was also the first Asian American State Assembly Majority Leader, County Supervisor, and a pioneer and mentor to many. Very outspoken and very articulate. She made sure that those that looked different, that came from a different background, that lived a different life, had a place at the table. I would not be the CEO of the Alameda Health System if it wasn't for Wilma and her guidance and her support and her friendship. Alameda police say they're still investigating the traffic crash Wednesday. Chan was killed when a woman in a vehicle hit her as Chan was walking her dog on Shoreline Boulevard and Grand Street. Friends say she had just moved to the neighborhood. She was glowing when she told me about the condo that she had just bought across the street from the beach. People brought flowers to the crash site Thursday, and some walked in the morning from the county offices to Lake Merritt in her honor. One of the things that I've learned from her is how much stronger we are as, as a group when we join across ethnic groups. And from the grief over Chan's death came calls to carry on her life's work. Rest in peace, rest in power, Supervisor Chan. We love you. County officials say their thoughts tonight are with Chan's family, and they say that they are still working to decide how to honor her with maybe a more formal memorial in her memory. Mike. Yeah, such a difficult time for her family, for those who work closely with her, as well as for those in her district. Jana, thank you for that.